With us now is Riley Smith. Welcome to the show, Riley. How have you been? I've been great, Donna. Thanks for having me. We were just uh, talking, I was almost going to say in the green room, but it's not in the green room. It's in our virtual green room. But you have a dog and you said he can open the doors? Yeah, he, he's, uh, he's basically human. He knows how to open <laughs> doors. And, you know, he drives cars. How are, how's, uh, you know, is he a sleuth? Uh, it always seems like, um, I think dogs have a way about them where they can just like either snoop out danger, they can snoop out fun, mischief. Is he a mischievous little doggy? No, he, you know, but he is very intuitive, okay. um, especially emotionally intuitive. Um, and he, he knows, he, I swear to God, he does this. If I ever get worked up or even if I'm going over my lines and it's a heated scene and I seem worked up, he'll come over and he'll lay and press his whole body on top of me. And he'll Aww. just keep pressing on until I calm down. Until he can hear your heartbeat or feel your heartbeat relaxed. Probably, yeah. yeah, he's he's my shadow. He's like he. We always say he's my firstborn. I just had a, a baby girl. She Congratulations! Turned one. Thank you. Yeah, so she's not now. Finn, our dog, is uh, he's having a little bit of an issue with the attention, but he's really good to her. He sleeps outside her door. He he doesn't know we have a monitor to watch her. So when she wakes up, he comes and gets us. Um, and he's been really patient with her because she's at that age now where she just hangs on him all the time. That's the sweetest. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Doesn't that just melt your heart every time you see them together? I love it. I love it. You know, we're, I'm here in Vancouver right now, getting ready to start uh, season two of Nancy Drew. And uh, I always tell my fiance, Ashley, you know, uh, it was like four years ago, I was here doing a show called Frequency. Oh, and yeah. we'd just gotten, just gotten Finn. And we'd walk around the city and I'd look at the parks and I'd be like, someday we're going to have a family. We're going to live here. And I thought it would be on Frequency going for a long time and it got canceled. But uh, now we're here with Nancy Drew, and we have the baby and the dog, and we live by the park, and it's like, you just got to put stuff out in the universe. Yeah, yeah, have a joyful, happy existence no matter what your circumstances are. Yeah, we're yeah. loving it. I mean, up here, they, they've got the COVID situation a lot more under control than the states, okay. and so they're on phase, phase three, which means everything's open, the parks are open, which is so nice to be able to go you know, to the park every day with the fam, and, and so I'm really appreciative of that. Um, Riley, how did acting start for you? What was like one of your early days where you said, this is my calling, this is my passion, I must do this? You know, I'm from Iowa, a really small farm town in the middle of uh, America. And in, in the 90s, in the 80s, when I was growing up, it wasn't like you had the internet and it didn't really seem possible to be in the television screen. And so I did the musicals in school and I, always had a, a desire to perform. Uh, I just didn't know what that meant. And, uh, and it, then it was a woman. I, can't, I haven't told this story forever, but I used to tell it all the time after, you know, when I first, uh, first came on the scene. But I, I got discovered at a mall picking up my tuxedo for prom uh, by Model Scout. And uh, at the time, it just seemed far-fetched. And I begged my parents to let me go give it a try in New York for uh, just to go meet agents and... Uh, I did that, and and then everything worked out. And so once once uh, I was in the business, even though it was modeling, I was there in New York, and I was uh, using the money I was earning for acting school and private lessons. And and then I got agents right away for for uh, acting. And then then it was like I can do this. My very first uh, com job was a uh, Wendy's ninety nine cent chicken nugget commercial. <laughs> and it was my very first audition ever. And <clears throat> I did the audition right before Christmas, and I flew home to Iowa for Christmas, and my agent called, and she said, uh, shoot, you got a callback on that Winnie's commercial, but you're in Iowa, don't worry about it. You'll get tons of callbacks. This is just your first one. And I said, no, I'm getting on a plane, and I'm coming back. And I flew back to New York and, and got the job. And so then it became real. You know, I was like, you can do this. I got a paycheck for it. And, uh, you know, I was proving to my parents that, that – you know, it could happen. This crazy idea, yeah. I remember getting one of my first checks. Um, I was doing a Vandekamp's uh, commercial. You know, I was the voiceover for Vandekamp's fish, and it was like so fresh <laughs> that the fish were, you know, jumping out of the freezer, right? And Is that I remember what you said? Is that the line? Yeah, it was kind of like that. It's like, it's kind of. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but that's kind of what it was, you know. And uh, you do, you do remember that, you know, or getting Taff Heart lead or, you know, it's a process. Everybody starts somewhere. I grew up in St. Louis, Missouri, so I'm kind of from the Midwest too. And, you know, when you have that dream and you have that vision, uh, 
and it just propels you. And once you get someone to believe in you, whether it's the person that discovers you getting your tux. By the way, on that tux, do you remember if you had like ruffles on your shirt and what color the ruffles were? No, it was a, um, it was a, uh, because I remember Leonardo DiCaprio wore it to uh, the premiere of like whatever movie he had out at the time. It was so 90s, but it had, uh, it was a silk shirt with big okay. collars that hung outside of the suit. And the suit was, I think they call it Nehru, where it had no collar. Right. And then the I remember big, that. And, and it, was li- it was a lime green uh, silk shirt with huge collars over the black suit. And uh, the pants were super baggy, of course, as that was the cut back in. I think the jacket was super long, too. But, yeah. Well, if your family still has a photo, I'd love to see that. Those old prompt pictures. Oh. You know, we'll, just, we'll just dig it out. Um, so, Nancy, it, it Drew, Nancy Drew, you must be so excited uh, for this, this happening now opening back up for yeah you. i i'm you know this is uh the second season um and uh, it's always kind of been a joke i i like to self-deprecate but i haven't uh had a show go past the first season and i've done 80 projects i've had a series every year for the last like five years but i could not get over the season one hump and uh larry tang who is our uh director producer um he told me at the beginning of the year he's like we're gonna do this for you like we're gonna get this one and i was like wow really and yeah we did we got season two and then you know it got cut a little bit short by a couple episodes because of covid and and then um we've been waiting anxiously to get the okay to start and we finally did so september 29th 2.8 is this season 2.8 then or are they going to call it season three no, it's season two. We okay. just did one season of 20 episodes last year. And then the two that we didn't get filmed were adding to the be- you know the beginning of, of this year. Lovely. So, I wish yeah. you continued success with your family, your beautiful daughter, your dog, your fiance, uh, continued happiness to you. And uh, I, see, I see, wait, I'm thinking there might be a picnic in your future. You gonna have a picnic dinner tonight? A picnic dinner? Uh, you know, I'm gonna watch, fo- yeah. Yeah, I'm watching football <laughs> and ordering pizza. So oh, okay. sort of. <laughs> and how is the pizza up there? Oh, great! I love the food up here. Vancouver's. If I this, I might as well be like the ad for their city. This is like my favorite city in North America. I am so fortunate that most of the sh- my shows shoot up here, and uh, I'm like I always joke that I'm half Canadian now. So there you I'm go. proud. Of, uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, it was a joy to uh, meet you virtually, and I can't wait to meet you in person sometime, and I wish you all the best. Likewise, Donna. I always, I, I do watch your show, and I, I enjoy it, so keep up the good work and, and entertaining us when we need it most right now. Oh, thank you, and I'll be, uh, I'll be looking out for you. Nancy Drew, uh, no. it's going to be a great Yay. season. Woohoo! Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Bye now.